One of my favorite little banjos is this one right here. It's a little Dobson. Back in the day, I think they would have called this a ladies banjo because it's so small. I think his head's about nine and a half inches. And it's not a very big banjo at all. And it has a skin head. It has one of the best sounds of any of my banjos. And it's a really simple banjo. There's not that much to it. But somehow they just managed to, whatever they did, they did it right to get the right sound out of it. I've noticed a lot of times when I make music for videos, I can tell when I pull up a piece of music that I played on this one, like just because it has that really crisp little clackety sound. You know, there is something I suppose I could work on. I've got a noise. this fret and I'm almost afraid to work on it because I don't want to damage it but it sure is annoying me I'm wondering if I could do a little tiny bit of work to make that fret not rattle much as I am loath to attempt this, I'm going to try filing a fret just a little bit. It's this one right here. And it's right on that spot. There is another way to do this too. <clears throat> Rather than file it, if I put my, uh, if I put my tip of this screwdriver on the fret right on the point where I want it to lower a little bit. Sometimes I can tap it down a little gently. I think I fixed it. nervous <clears throat> makes me nervous I don't do a lot of fret work nor do I want to it uh, it makes me nervous <laughs> too much too easy to mess something up I think All right now that we've done that maybe let's just play a little Sometimes you can just hear when something isn't quite right. Like for me, just now that fifth string wasn't right. I think it's about right now. But sometimes you can't tell, or sometimes you can't hear it, or sometimes you can't figure out what's not right. You, know, you can 
hear it, but you can't put your finger on it. So I think that fifth string was off a little there, but I think it's better now. Pray for me. Switch banjos.